with Brett Butler of the Los Angeles Dodgers. And Brett, uh, we know you're injured. First of all, how do you feel right now, and do you think you can come back this season? Brad, I feel pretty good. Uh, do I think I can come back? I hope I can. At least uh, I've got a torn labrum in my left shoulder. The cancer stuff's fine. I feel good with that. Been checked up here recently, and everything seems to be clear. Uh, the labrum, they said I have to have surgery. Now it's can I play with the pain, and that's where I'm at right now. I can't throw real well. Maybe they'll put me in left field. That really doesn't affect me at all hitting, so uh, I think that might be the adjustment, and hopefully here in the next couple of days I'll be able to play. Everybody knows your inspirational story about the cancer and coming back last year. How big of a thrill was that for you to get back out there last year and play with all the people behind you knowing your story? Well, the fiber of my being is to prove people wrong, and the doctor said I wouldn't be able to play last year. And, and to me, God's powerful than, than anybody in the world, so I just believe that God allowed me to come back and play. And, and for me, uh, it meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to people, and hopefully gave them hope to know that, hey, even a guy that's got cancer can come back, and they could do it too. And, and hopefully that's the, uh, the point that was brought across. How many letters? in like pieces of mail did you receive and and how does that I mean really no one can really comprehend on, on how much of a, a difference you may have made for someone who may have been in that situation well I received about 180,000 pieces of mail so there was a uh it was just an overflow. It was unbelievable. We had to hire somebody to help us out, but we went through most of the letters, almost all of them, and sent gifts to those who'd sent us gifts, sent a response anyway. And, and to me, it just made me realize that the world is one, one big happy family if we'll just let it. And uh, that's what God talks about is love. And we've got too many facades in this world, too many people, hidden agendas and things like that instead of loving each other to the kingdom of God. And I believe that. And so, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. And I believe that you know, I didn't want cancer, but I've been blessed through the cancer, and God gave me nothing that I wanted but everything I needed to get through it. And I trust him, and uh, I would hope that uh, people realize that God is real and that miracles do happen today, and I'm a living example of that. Is this your last season if, if everything goes well anyway? Well, absolutely. I made a commitment to my family and especially my son that, uh, hey, I'm 40 years old. We'll be 40 next month, and uh, or really this, this month. It's June now, and, and uh, that's a commitment that I met that I made to them because you know what I I know a lot of people that got out of out of whatever they were doing their career and none of them said I wish I spent more time at the office they all wish they'd spent more time at home so it's time for me to go home and spend time with my family Brett thanks a lot and uh, you're a true inspiration to a lot of people thank you very much and good luck with the, uh, the rest of your life thanks a lot